Hello guys, so as you can see on my screen here, I have a newly restored iPod Touch 4, and uh, here's the iPod Touch 4, and now, uh, as you know, Green Poison just came out, um, released Candidate 5, and they actually released an update today, but um, there are some issues, like uh, what I would get before is if I just ran the program, it would, um, it would fail to work. It would just give me a complete and nothing would happen, so I found a fix to that. First, let's close iTunes over here. Uh, before you do anything, uh, if you know how to, um, you can just put your device in DFU mode, hold the, the sleep and home button together. Um, you just hold and wait for this thing to fall asleep or to turn off. Once it turns off, just wait a little bit and then let go and that should automatically put it and then hold the home button for a little while um, yep see now it's in DFU mode once it's in DFU mode you can just uh, get out of iTunes again now what I want you to do is um, the link that's at the bottom of uh, the YouTube post download that onto your Mac um, open up terminal which is this right here or you can just do this and type in terminal you can do command spacebar and find terminal using spotlight Browse to where you have your green poison. So I'm going to use green poison 3 here because that's the latest one that I just downloaded. I mean, it, here, I'll make it easier to understand. So I downloaded green poison uh, release candidate fixed, which is what the link that you'll see. You can download it anywhere. Unarchive it. Then you'll get this, which is just a green poison. Right click it, show package contents, double click contents. Then in terminal type in CD, drag Mac OS to the terminal and press enter. Now you're just going to type sudo dot slash and go into Mac OS. Um, copy this. So now you're just going to do sudo dot slash green poison and you just press enter. Now the program will come up. Click jailbreak and don't actually pay attention to the program itself, just pay attention to the terminal here. Um, iTunes is going to do whatever it's going to do. But the way you know if it's working or not is, first of all, the device lights up. Um, and if it starts saying something about cache, then you're, it's actually working. If not, and these device counters and whatnot. So it should be here. If it gets stuck, oh, see we have, uh, we have verbose mode. Um, and that means that it's working. So Green Poison is actually jailbreaking right now. So before what would happen is I would just see how the program here just says complete. Well, if it didn't really go anywhere beyond that. So now uh, it actually happens and you don't really need to pay attention to the program itself or the UI. Uh, this is checking catalog hierarchy, uh, checking extents overflow file. I mean just a bunch of weird stuff that no, no one's really interested in other than the people who made this thing. Um, so there's a cool little uh, green poison logo if you could see that. Oh, now it's back to the Apple logo, but I really like this actual uh, this custom boot logo. It's really nice. Um, other than that, though, I mean the program the the software works really well. It's just it's a hassle to 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 make it work sometimes. So this is the best way I found to make it work. Now, since it's already jailbroken, you don't need to do anything, just click complete, close terminal. The next thing we're going to need to do is once this starts up, you're going to have to install Cydia, and their loader really sucks um, because the server just sucks, and you can't download the loader, so just open up Red Snow, uh, beta 6, browse to, again, put in DFU mode. See, right now I have my jailbroken iPod with the loader here but it's really slow right now so maybe later it'll be better uh, hold again until it dies hold a little bit longer and then let go keep holding home and I think I'm in DFP mode now I'm browse for my IPSW I have my iPod 4.2 here. Just click next. Um, again, for putting it in DFU mode, I just like to do it before I start the program, but you can also just follow the directions. 
So then you can just click install Cydia here. Next, next again, and it does it automatically. You don't need to follow any directions if you already put it into DFU mode. And you'll start seeing some stuff on the screen here soon. Yep, there we go. Uploading RAM disk. Downloading jailbreak data, and it's done. So basically, now we have a jailbroken iPod Touch 4 with Green Poison and Cydia installed through um, Red Snow. And uh, that's basically it. Now, if you want to get you know software or whatnot, um, just visit, visit i4iPhones.info. Uh, I'll have a bunch of sources you can add, um, or actually, I can just show you how to add a source. Um, so if you want to get the latest Cydia, which I, I found, you could do this. How people want to do this so it's moving applications this might take a little bit um, so actually I can show you this on my uh, on my iPad which is gonna be the same thing so you can open up your city now uh, here you see I have city open no actually I don't know which one I don't have this repo installed on. Let me remove this. Yeah, there's a. I used to be fat on TV, which uh, must be a little boring for you guys. But so while my iPod Touch is jailbreaking, I'm going to show you how to add a source to get the latest city on there. Okay, so. This is my iPad. Just click Edit here, and then on um, well, I open Cydia. Click on Sources, then Edit. Then you click Add. Just type in uh, iRepo.us. So I don't know how well you can see that. iRepo.us. Press Add Source. It'll verify URL. You know, just the same old stuff. And uh, iPod Touch is jailbroken. Cool uh, little logo there. So now that while that's doing that, um, get sources added. Now just go to changes. Just type in search um, and latest. You're gonna want to add this. Uh, see this package right here? It says latest city repo. Click that. Then just click install. Confirm. And now, once you go back to changes, once that does everything, you can go back to changes. Um, let's see here. Oh, okay. Package is downloaded. Loading, loading as always. Now you're gonna get this thing that says complete upgrade, essential up upgrade, or whatever. Just uh, go to, and then just click upgrade or complete upgrade. And it'll upgrade your Cydia installer, so you can get the latest version. Of course, this is all optional. If you don't want to do the latest version, um, you don't have to. But I always like to stay up to date with everything that's going on. So there we have the latest version of Cydia. Just close off this. Boom! Latest Cydia version. Everything's working. Um, so that's basically it. If you need any help, just comment and uh, I'll let you, um, you know, I'll give you feedback or I'll help you out. My uh, my iPod is also jailbroken. I have City on there, as you can see. And uh, it loads. You know, this is my initial City startup or whatnot. So, that's it.